Hey students and families, I want to show you how to use gizmos to enjoy a fun science or math lesson using uh, an interactive cartoon type uh, program. So it's called gizmos. And the first thing that you'll do is sign in to class link on your computer. You'll see a list of all your icons and you need to go to the one with a capital G the blue icon that says gizmos click on that and it will open up the program you'll probably see a list of classes that includes math and science i have four but you should only have two so i'm going to click on kaiser math and you'll see that i have an old assignment that you did a couple of weeks ago if you haven't done that one yet you can go ahead and do that one and then there's one with a frog called pattern finder so if you'll click on that one, it will open up this interface here where you see a, a picture of the gizmo. You can mouse over it and see a picture of a rocket. You can even go to this purple button, but either way, launch the gizmo and you'll be able to manipulate what's going on on the screen. You can catch all the frogs and make them stop. You can release them and you're looking for patterns. You're going to answer questions about the patterns. When you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you'll have five questions. When you're done answering the questions, you can click check your answers and it will grade your work. So use the interactive frog cartoon. You can change things here and it will help you answer the questions. If it's your first time, you probably want to try a beginner. If you are interested in a challenge, try advanced. It will give you more difficult patterns. There's some tools up here that you can use if you want to. You might not need those today. There's another lesson that I want you to do today, and it's about a pendulum clock. So let's go back and find that one. It's under Kaiser Science or Lawson Science if you're in Lawson's homeroom. This one's called Pendulum Clock. And when you launch the gizmo, you'll see a big grandfather clock. If you click play, it will start to, the, the clock will start to tick and the pendulum will move. And you can change the mass of the pendulum. You can uh, change the time that's on the clock. You can change where the clock is. Uh, you can, let's go ahead and stop. You can change it to Jupiter. Um, instead of earth and things like that. When you scroll down, you'll have questions about the pendulum clock activity. So use the interactive gizmo to answer the questions. If you have any questions, of course, you can always ask and I'll be here to help you. Um, these are pretty short. There are only five questions on each of them. Remember when you're, when you're finished, click check your answers and you can see how you did. I hope you enjoy these. Let me know how it goes and uh, I'll see you soon.